Back in April, a mysterious liquid-cooled variant of the AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT popped up on Chinese news networks. Now, this bottle has appeared within a custom PC put together by a local Chinese builder, confirming its actual existence. Spotted by Harukaze, the AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT LC or liquid cooled is what the name says. Now the liquid cooled version of the 6900 XT graphics card, well, there it is. There's no details mentioned within the product listing, but previous rumors have indicated that the card could be the existing RDNA2 based Navi 21 XTXH GPU. Now that Radeon RX 6900 XT with the Navi 21 XTXH chips have received high-end cooling systems, both air and liquid, from various manufacturers. AMD has also followed the liquid approach in the past and it helps in pushing peak clocks out of the bend Navi 21 chip and as such delivers slightly more performance than the reference variants. This card follows the same design scheme as the existing RX 6000 RDNA 2 series graphics cards with a silver and black color scheme and the card has two glossy aluminum plates and a large Radeon R logo in the middle. The card would have featured a double slot design and come with an AIO liquid cooling solution. And the packaging shows the card featuring a 120mm AIO radiator and has an RGB accent LED on the side. The card features the reference PCB design most likely with the dual 8-pin power connectors present. The system is packed within, offers an AMD Ryzen 9 5950X CPU, ROG Strix B550A motherboard, a 16GB of DDR4-3200 memory, and a 500GB NVMe SSD, as well as the CPU being cooled by Deepcool's Castle 240 V2 liquid cooler. Power is provided through an 850 watt deep cool power supply and the system is listed for a price tag of 20,999 RMB, which converts to a roughly 3,300 US dollars. It's pretty decent if we consider what's in there with the Ryzen 9 5950X having an MSRP of 799 US and the RX 6900 XT LC should come in a slight premium over the reference MSRP of $999 US, so let's say around $1,100, and that puts it around $1,800 hundred dollars us for just those two components alone now you have to add in the extra money for the psu cooler memory and board casing ssd prices are well you know that's just how it is the AMD Radeon RX 6900 XT LC has so far only appeared in chinese retailers and news sites and that could mean that the card might be exclusive to the asian pacific market however that remains to be seen AMD definitely can't miss the opportunity to launch an enthusiast grade graphics card in other markets. But what about the specs of the card? Well, okay, we got some of those too. The AMD Radeon RX 6900 XTX liquid cooled graphics card would come packed with the Nevi 21 XTX H GPU, which is fully enabled die featuring 80 compute units or 5,120 string processors. The card will also feature 16 gigabytes of G6 memory across a 256 bit bus interface and a 512 gigabytes of total bandwidth. Well, the clock speeds of 2015 MHz base and 2250 MHz boost are reference spec, so expect these to be bumped up quite a bit thanks to holding a lower temperature, which should allow for a higher clock speed. There are also 80 ray accelerators for ray tracing enablement on the graphics cards, one RA per compute unit, and the graphics card features a total board power of 300 watts if it sticks to the reference clocks and everything. In addition to the standard memory, the 6900XTX liquid cool graphics card would also have featured the same 128 megabytes of infinity cache on the GPU die. Now this cache does help boost bandwidth for higher performance at resolutions beyond 1080p. The 128 megabytes of infinity cache boosts the standard 512 gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth by 3.25x, delivering an effective bandwidth upwards of 1.664 terabytes per second across all big Navi GPU based graphics cards. The reference RX 6900 XT had a price of $999 US and the liquid cooled variant would have sold for over $1200 due to its premium design. And I want to thank you for making it to the end of this video. If you like what you've seen here and you like getting news daily, make sure you hit that subscribe button down there in the corner. And if you've missed out on news in the past and you want to catch those, check out one of these videos over here.